Stay still, my heart. The wound is deep. The other category is worse. I promise you that. Are you certain? Perhaps he enjoyed a free meal. That little bite. Barely a scratch. Hi everyone, Lazyfire here. Welcome back to Shadow of Mordor. Today we're going to be going and doing a little bit more with Ratbag. And uh, it's a good time for that. You know, it's important to say that even though I've done most of the stuff you're going to see in the story, or that Ratbag stuff's going to introduce to us in terms of, uh, you know, killing captains and moving people through ranks, uh, Ratbag still has some interesting stuff to say and a little bit of insight about the orc hierarchy. Uh, so it's always going to be good to get a little time in with him. Speaking of some quality time, we're going to need to pick up two worms over the course of this video. Uh, I actually have two extra spaces on my orc board right now, and uh, I think I might as well go do that. Now, one of the things... Oh, oh god, this is going to suck here. Yeah, stay right there. One of the things I actually really like about the brutalized kills is exactly what you saw there. I can go ahead and get these guys to get away from this worm. Let's gain some intel. Just guys in the front row, nothing big. But you will notice that uh, our flame-headed guy is gone. Pretty average looking. Eh. Well, it's the end of that. Goodbye. Oh, hey. Someone mentioned... Uh, well, we'll do this in a minute. Uh, but I was going to say, somebody mentioned in the thread, uh, just before I actually started recording this, that you don't need to grab somebody to do a drain on them like you saw in one of the more recent videos. Uh, I've completely forgot that point, and uh, I do want to show off what happens if you drain somebody from a distance. But we'll get to that after we do Ratbag stuff, or possibly during. Yeah, it looks like Ratbag's in trouble here. Let's go. fact, let's uh, have some fun. Of course, I think I might have just screwed myself out of the uh, other two, but whatever. Well, I'm doing this the dumbest way possible, but you know, what else is new with this LP, right? Yeah. Let's get this guy while we're here. And what's this guy's deal? Brog. Hate of more uh, he's vulnerable stealth, a lot of range. Vault breaker. That sucks. Oh well. There are multiple ways to deal with this guy, really. It is your head this time. We haven't had a proper execution in Let's get rid of all of his guys at once. These scum are no better than talks like you. And I will show everyone here how low that is. Well, he's got a poison weapon. Let's not let him use it. No reason in trying to save this guy or you know, hoping he can do anything. I do want to stay the fuck away from Ratbag right now, though, because if you... Oh, hey, good. Watch this. You can interrogate captains today. Let's hope that guy doesn't get here first. And, uh, now we can find out a little bit about the War Chiefs. This is actually kind of why I wanted to do this. Uh, it's not hard to find out. You don't have to grab the bodyguards of the War Chiefs to find out about them. Uh, but it does 
you know, it's one of those things they just want to introduce you to. Mog the other twin. I, I actually absolutely love the Borg and the Mog thing. That's absolutely fantastic. And uh, as you can see, because normally captains do function as worms. In this case, for some reason, he doesn't. Whatever. Oh, there we go. I spoke a little too soon. So he hates when his bodyguards attack. That means that the way we're going to have to draw him out are going to be tied to that fact. Uh, he's actually kind of a neat guy to fight. Pop. Now you notice that... Uh, Ranger! Oh, wow! Now that's what I call teamwork, eh? <laughs> Go before I change my mind. What, what, what about our deal? Deal is over. Well, very well then, I, I just thought that we... Right. Wait! Wait! Ranger! Watch this! Once the war chief hears of my victory, he'll make me his personal bodyguard. <laughs> and how does this help me? Uh, a backstabbing bodyguard? I'll take care of one of the war chiefs for you. And you do the other four on your own. Then we'll meet at the training camp, right? I'll make sure the war chief is there. You're ready for him. <laughs> What do you say? Make sure you keep your head on your neck this time. Yeah, I don't. Well, that's my plan. Yeah. <laughs> Level seven. Wow, he's almost a douche. Well, not actually even close. Alright, 600 XP, not a bad deal. This ragbag led us up the chain of command in spite of himself. He has a gift for failure. Huh. And, uh, so now our main objective here is to actually go and uh, kill all the war chiefs, which is kind of what we're building towards for quite a while. Ah. Hey, some stuff. So what I'm gonna... Whoa, what the fuck was that noise? Alright, anyways. What we're gonna spend the rest of this episode doing, because that took literally ten seconds, was to just basically go over and get all of our war chiefs and captains and so on uh, found and, you know, discovered. So, it might take a little bit of map time. We do have two worms right in the area, so uh, not too worried, actually. And if we have time for it, I'd really like to go in. Let's see if he turns. Here it is. Oh, that's not exactly what I was anticipating there. Uh, but two slaves free, not bad. I would like to go do at least one more uh, bow legend or two. Tours. Hey, that's the guy who killed us. I think by law I have to stay away from him right now. Oh, but uh, damn it, the guy I was running towards disappeared. Let's go back. I hate when that happens. Uh, the map is a fantastic tool for finding stuff like that. Uh, but sometimes I just lose my way. Yeah, I heard the race climb around up high, so they can surprise their enemies from above. Damn, he's fast. But patented pin move there will always get you through. And there's another uh, worm right over there. That's not bad. Intel here. Ooh, hey, we lost Jaws, but we got this new guy here. He's a war chief. Uh, which, unfortunately for us, uh, depending on how you feel about it, means we basically have to kill him. Uh. 
Man, I love that brutalized move. Maybe a little bit too much right now. Oh, shit. Don't run that way. Don't run that way. Well, bye. Thanks for showing up, I guess. Oh, good. Now they're on me. Well, let's bring them this way. Ah. Sometimes that doesn't work. Hey, have fun. I got work to do. That You're kidding me. I saw the top scale hole. Damn. Well, I could have worked out better. There. Don't stop fighting, Ranger! You pathetic weakling! Ah, damn, I thought one of these guys was the worm I was looking for. Alright, let's get up here. Oh, it's actually that guy. Yep. Perfect. Tell me what I want to know. Alright. Many thanks, Ranger! That was a weird way to whisper at me. And, uh, well, we just saw Captain get scared. Uh, that is actually the guy who killed us earlier, so maybe we want to keep him alive, but... Uh, he's probably gonna outrun that rock. Yeah, looks like he did some work there. Good. Feared Captain... Well... It looks like our immediate area is a little dead. Let's go and do this, uh... Okay. I understand. I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, we're gonna go and do one of the outcast missions and hope that that populates some worms real quick. I've kind of been neglecting those and picking up some of the uh, items and so on in the world, but, you know, it's every now and again kind of thing. Honestly, the outcast, uh, the outcast missions to me are, at the end of the day, not the most interesting things in this game. Mostly, you know, you can feel free to disagree with me if you've played the game or not. Uh, mostly because, at the end of the day, uh, they feel like they were absolute and complete filler. There's very little separating one from the other. And I think at the very end of the day, that kind of upsets me because they do such a fantastic job of dropping a lot of variety for uh, other types of missions for you in the game. Yeah, they just collapse from exhaustion. It's just like when they get into the grog or they break the tools or they lose a piece of paper. You go kill the guys who are doing this to them and you're done. It's... Uh. Like I said, this is my opinion. And I hate this. The they all look like worms. Done. So I reckon we'll have You're having trouble staying on your zone. feet, slave! Get behind him! Get behind who? What are you talking about? <laughs> this is actually perfect. They don't look like worms. They are worms. This is perfect. Thank you. Uh, Hey, good news. Douche is not aligned with any of these guys. That is actually... Ah, hell. Fantastic news. You disgust me! Push him down! So, uh, yeah. Yeah, here. Come here. Suffer me now! That was, uh,. Maybe a little easier than I anticipated. I thought we'd have a bit more running around, but looks like uh, we got into a good spot here. Hop. Not bad. Let's go free this guy. Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I don't care though. Whoa, just sawed off his arm. Don't stop fighting, Ranger! <laughs> it looks like some other slaves actually distracted all the other guys. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. That's some of the stuff I like about this game. Damn. Look. 
Look, they just completely cleared out. There's one guy above me. That's it. Let's get them all out of here. That's fantastic. This game is so fucking weird sometimes. I can barely feel my feet, but I'll find the strength to run. Thank you, Ranger. I. Yeah, you had stuff with you throwing sharp things at me. So wasn't gonna really allow that. Let's get them all out. Oh, I love that move. Uh, I barely used it the first time around, but I love it now. Also love that. That's pretty great. Oof. I don't know why I didn't... Whoa. Very rarely do I fuck myself over and then have it immediately redeemed. He should be You go. That guy's a worm. Drain on. I don't think I need a worm right now, but who knows. I'm gonna just interrogate him anyways. Hopefully that'll tell me if I am... Oh, hi. Enjoy. No, have that guy. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. See ya. So, let's take a minute to look at the map here. You can see now that we actually have a couple of these missions up. These are how we uh, lure out the war chiefs from here on out. You also notice that they're the only ones around. Hmm. Basically, we're at a point in the game where we can't really do much but those missions. That's what the game wants us to do, and that's kind of what we're forced into. Now, I still have, as you can see, a couple things to collect in this area, and we'll be working on those items probably first in some free roam videos and then handle that stuff. So what we're going to do for the rest of this video, I'm going to go over here and do this bow thing real quick, and uh, that'll pretty much be it. I don't really intend to uh, stick around much longer on this if I don't have to. Uh, honestly, this is such a short mission, and it, it's so... Uh, I don't want to say exemplary of some of the missions in this game, but really, the free roam stuff is what this game was intended to be about. You can tell that just based on the length of the story missions and how much they focus on what you can do with the orcs and everything like that. You know, they really wanted you to get a lot of mileage out of the orcs rather than getting a lot of mileage out of the story. Not to say the story isn't there, not to pretend that it's not important. Tools. And he's everywhere I go right now. I'm gonna stay just far enough away that he doesn't pick up on us. I'm not pretty. Uh, I'm pretty sure that people won't want to keep him around. He's not very interesting looking. Uh, but as the guy who killed me the first time through, he may be somebody people want to watch out for. I don't know. I haven't taken a vote at this point on uh, what to do with that guy and the other ones. I was really waiting for the war chiefs to show up before we started talking about anything. Uh, though the war chiefs mean very, very little to us because they have to die. Yeah, sure. Kill all archers. Not very difficult, as a matter of fact. I am not even going to use the uh, slow motion for a couple seconds here. Oh, and you just noticed there that I didn't get a full charge, and it didn't kill the guy. Oh. Okay, we're gonna slow motion. Too much movement. Shut all the way. Uh, the thing about the bow, you see the, the reticle I have here, and that you know kind of speaks for itself a lot of the time. Uh, but one of the things I haven't really mentioned with it is that unless you pull the bow back all the way, as you're seeing me do here you won't do full damage. This is that fully charged headshot thing that you may have seen a couple times. And we're done. Not very bad. 
Uh, but yes, the fully charged headshot that will kill, you know, a, a guy outright. Oh, why am I creeping? These are the guys I want to grab. He is running towards. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, that was pretty fantastic. And you're noticing that we have some defenders in here now. We haven't seen these guys in a while. Defenders are basically the reason why the vault kill exists. These dudes, if you thought the, uh... If you thought hunters were kind of bad when you fight them, the, cha the defenders here are much worse. That shield basically means that they're invincible from the front, uh, unless you shoot them or something. And, well, frankly, are you kidding? I'm trying to get this combo, eh? Nice. Go. Uh, but the really big issue I have with them is that, well, frankly, Fighting them can be kind of a pain because of the way the game treats. Ah, oh, you're kidding. The way the game treats you. I saw Italian actually do the uh, reversal move there. I have no idea why that didn't. Work. But the way the game treats your uh, reversals versus your straight attacks, it causes some issues with those guys. Basically, anytime you start swinging in this game, you can hit Y at any point and get a full reversal. However, if you've seen the defenders, and I usually don't let them live if they're in a big group for, uh, for very long, uh, so it might be a while before you really see one, uh, the defenders tend to uh, swing at you, well, they always do, with a, an attack that can only be dodged and not reversed. Because of that, Jump up, I was trying to make a point. The, because of that, the defenders can actually be a big pain, because when you try to dodge, you have to complete whatever motion you're going through. You can't do it mid-move. You know, if I'm swinging, I can hit Y and immediately reverse it, right? As a matter of fact, we can try that here. See? I actually started that as a swing, and then tried to reverse it. However, when I swing, I was hitting A the entire time I swung there, I had to complete the swing. It wouldn't work otherwise. So, that meant that, well, basically, I was stuck in a motion. So, uh, yeah. I have died, or come very close to dying to defenders because of that. So, that's my defender's complaint. Whatever. I don't... It's not what I wanted. I'm gonna look at weapons and runes real quick here. Uh, actually, no. I want upgrades. We do have an ability point available to us, Brace of Daggers, not really my interesting thing there. Here we are, the thing that I thought I had last time. We're going to get Lethal Shadow Strike. Very, very useful. Mostly because of the shit like this. Basically an inst ex instant execute move from any distance. Now, uh, doesn't work on Karagors, as you can see here. I don't know if you can technically see it, but yeah. And if people are alerted, it doesn't work. So, use it smart, and it takes up your elf shot just like the Shadow Strike. So, uh, just be smart about what you're doing, where you're going, you'll be fine with it. It's uh, a useful move, but I don't use it all that often, to be honest with you. Uh, it's one of those things, you know, I should use it a bit more, and I know it's a very, very helpful little thing, but at the same time, I would really appreciate uh, just being able to get to uh, the real point. It's hard not to spoil what happens later in the game, but you do get a way of getting on Karagors much faster, and I wish that was something you could just upgrade and buy early on instead of having to uh, go through some story stuff to get on to them. But it makes sense to wait for a little bit in the story. Um, but I just wish it was an, a straight upgrade instead of what it is. I'd rather take the non-lethal shadow strike over the lethal shadow strike and getting to Karagor ride earlier. That, that's all. 
But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. I will see you next time.